Hey friends, hey family, como estas bienvenidos? It's your girl Melissa Q back with another video and as you can tell from the title we are doing some skincare empties. I'm really excited because in the last three months I've gone through so many empties. I have a lot to talk about and um, I think you will be definitely interested on in the ones that I love, the ones that I've gotten through and this is just a great way to tell yourself how much you should buy in a year because it lets you know what you're going through throughout the year so i hope you guys are quarantined and doing well since we are quarantined we can get through some things i have not worn makeup in a week so this feels pretty good and um yeah i just i really hope you guys are doing well with everything i hope your family is safe and if you are watching this from your bed your room from your iphone i i just hope that you guys are doing well in this tumultuous this crazy time but hopefully my videos will help you have some ease and it will bring some calm to your life so anyway without further ado let's get into the video let's start off with face mask and facial wipes this one is from neutrogena this is the deep clean purifying i am not using these as much so this is the only facial wipes that i do have but i will say that this is a bomb this is from cvs this is the extra thick premium cotton squares and these are a dupe to the shiseido cotton wipes now I really really enjoyed this it's to the point where I can replace my Shiseido cotton facial cottons that are expensive these are bomb this is under five dollars I believe and you get 150 squares it is the same it, it might be okay Shiseido might be a little bit softer but in terms of like not no cotton residue, doing the job, being extra thick, absorbing the product where you can apply it to your face, it does the same thing. So I found a dupe and let me know. I probably will come with a comparison just so you guys can see. The next things are facial wipes. These are not facial wipes, face masks. And I want to talk about a combo that I really, really like. Now I have like a collection of face, face masks, sheet masks, right? But this bubble mask from Sue, the charcoal bubble sheet mask is bomb with pulling all the impurities out and then going in with a moisturizing one. This one is called Le Mou, Le Mer, Le Mer, moisture infusion mask, bomb. Like, so if you're taking impurities out, you definitely want to put a moisture type of product back in with a serum. This is amazing. I love this combo and I wanted to share the combo itself. But I do like Sue mask, facial mask. And this one is Sue. And this one is the only one that else, the only other one. This is a calming hydrating mask. This is the deep sea water one. This one is really good. It's a it's a nice calming. This is something that like sposh on the spa side. Really nice. Patchology. I really like this one too. This is a flash mask and it was really really nice very hydrating i really do like patch ology not so much their under eye eye patches i tried those and you'll probably see in an empties video uh, those are not my favorite in terms of under eye patches but i love their sheet mask this brand i really like i think i got this from a fat fit fun or even maybe a subscription box ipsy i believe this is the kale and vitamin b fresh press sheet mask from sweet chef i really like these sheet mask you'll probably see these in more empties just because i have a few of these but i really really like this one it was super hydrating and it was a soother to my dry skin which it says hydrates and soothes dry skin so if you have dry skin this is a really good one if you want to put some moisture back into the skin this one is from this is a whitening mask from must have must have is a k beauty brand this was okay it, it it wasn't memorable um when i put it on my face i wouldn't just like ooh, you know there's some sheet masks that i really recommend sue is have amazing mask karuna has amazing mask um 111 skin has amazing mask so uh, maybe i'll come with some recommendations of some very very hydrating 
masks that are amazing but those are my sheet masks okay this is the only cleanser that i have this is the shaw facial cleanser i really did like this one it is a hyaluronic acid coconut oil and aloe if you don't like coconut oil this is probably not gonna work for you but if you need something that's very hydrating not stripping but a really good um type of cleanser this is really good i really do enjoy this brand I am going to personally email them back and let them know how amazing their products were. I definitely saw a difference and their serum is bomb, bomb. So I really like this brand Shoff if you guys want to check it out. This is an exfoliant from Shoff. Like when I say I really like that them, I really do like them. I ran out of the, the prime, wait, I've ran out of the serum first, then the moisturizer, and now we are going through the cleanser and the purifying scrub this one is really really nice and i feel like it is it was very it was not abrasive but it did the job this is the purifying scrub it has lava powder bamboo beads and hyaluronic acid i love that these are very hydrating to my skin so they when they reached out to me they did ask me what type of skin I had and so these were very comparable and I'm telling you I really do enjoy their skin care. Oh I do have another cleanser. I did not like this. I use this on I did not like this on my face. I liked it on my decollete in terms of a body scrub. It was cool and that's the reason why I got through it but it took me forever. When it takes me forever like this like it took me a long time. Like I skipped over this and went to other things which means that I probably don't like it. I would not repurchase this. I got this from a fat no 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 a ipsy glam box like an ultimate box or something. This is the glam glow tropical cleanse it's a daily exfoliating cleanser mm, like it was all right you know what I mean it was just like uh when I had to go pick it up I did not this did not spark joy okay no Mari Kondo would not be pleased but yes Komari method no we will not be repurchasing that it does not spark joy We're still in toners this is the polish choice resist weekly resurfacing treatment this is a 10 percent AHA glycolic acid I did like this is it my favorite mm, not really I feel like it was it was okay like sometimes I felt like it worked other times it didn't and I don't know I was on the fence with this one Will I repurchase it? It was inexpensive. It was not. But I'm going to tell you, I love the Pixie Glow Tonic a hundred times better than this. And I know that this is a higher percentage. I just feel like that one, I could see the results of Radiant Skin. I know this is a resurfacer with the glycolic acid and it had a higher percentage. But I felt like that the Pixie Glow Tonic, I like the fact that I can use that daily. And I saw the radiance of my skin I really couldn't see a difference with this and I did not want to pick it up all the time so I'll pass on this that one it didn't spark joy either still in the toner category this is the Florin B Rose and Sh Rose and Shine refreshing toning water I really like this a lot I wish it was in a larger bottle Florin B is a brand that I have uh, worked with in the past and I really do love their natural non-toxic products i actually passed it on to my sister because i was like you gotta try this girl but i was like you're not getting this so i kept this i really enjoyed it and i would repurchase it the only thing is i want this in a larger bottle like florin b seriously put this in a larger bottle and you get two ounces of product i feel like double it okay this was really really good i really enjoyed it and it smells like rose water but you felt i feel I felt very refreshing I feel like that these products are like spas in a bottle so I really like it I really like that a lot the pixie by Pe Petra hydrating milky mist with hyaluronic acid and black oat really good like I think I have another one of this I always love this this is what I feel like the dewy skin mist I believe by Tatcha I had that when I returned it once I found this I was like I'm good I'm good that one gave me too much do. This is perfect. I use it with makeup. I use it without makeup. I use it at night before I actually go into skincare. I feel like that this is an amazing like deep moisture type of serum, pre-serum. You know, you can put it on after you've like toned if you need some extra 
hydration i really like this would definitely repurchase let's go to one i regret buying this is the garnier skin active and cellular eye makeup remover pads i've talked about this before i finally got through it not repurchasing it i do like the jar but i would put something else in it i don't think that they're too thin they don't they're not worth the money just go ahead and get some type of facial like cotton pads and get some of your water and just save some money this was not worth it let's move on this is the lancome genifique concentrate youth activating concentrate serum let me tell you i used to really like this but i feel like the the more the older i get i need some more potent i feel like this was hydrating okay this was like hyaluronic acid and that's it like i want something that's gonna like do a couple of things i it did not grab me and for the price i would go to clearance and grab something this made me the essay larder the advance i think it's called the advanced cyclist skin or y'all know what i'm talking about the infamous one that one works this not so much i would not repurchase this and um yeah i'm sorry this is going to the skincare graveyard i'm just saying y'all the hungarian water essence by belief hands down we'll get this again i really like it if you haven't tried skin essences i highly recommend if you want an added step and you're like mm, you know once you put it into your skin care regimen i'm telling you it will change your life <laughs> skin essences are really there to soften the skin to help absorb the serums so you're going to put it on after your cleanser after your toner before your serum so i know i did not talk about the order of a skin essence in that video i don't think but i will list like you know what you're missing in your skincare i started implementing skin care like essences because i mean i was doing skincare before this hands down is one of the best hydrating serums i have ever tried in my life and it is expensive but hey it is Leo Serum Sewing Hydrant, which is a, it looks like it's from Bio Race. It's a moisturizing and enhancing skincare product. It's the ultimate hydrating hydration skincare with, it says Filmic Cell and Pro Hypho. I don't know what that is, but y'all, this is so good. This is a treatment serum. Y'all, my skin could tell the difference. It was like, more please more please um i'm gonna have to get this again i learned from i learned about this product from ipsy y'all if you see this on the ipsy website get it if you see it as an add-on get it this is one of the best serums i have ever tried y'all see how fast i y'all i don't go through serums that fast like i rotate but this one i kept picking up and i was like "Ooh, this one my skin was like more please yes thank you okay, let's go into face oils i did finish two face oils this is the illuminating face oil with rose hip and cranberry from derma e it is a affordable face oil i really do enjoy it and rose hip and cranberry are really good for the skin really really like it but y'all if you want to talk about og yes this is an expensive this was like in the 70 80 dollar mark but you talk about a face oil that is memorable on the skin it has vitamins a through f in it so you even get your vitamin c with this oil it is the multivitamin infusion oil by murad this i am repurchasing again like i rem my skin remembers this it's only three facial oils that my skin really 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 loves and really absorbs and i could tell a difference like that's off the top of my head this tarts maracuja oil and marula oil by the pure marula brand whatever that is uh i know it's not the drunk elephant but the other marula oil those are the top three that i know my skin reacts to that are like high end so y'all this i'm getting again i have talked about this in so many favorites videos i feel like but this is an amazing oil if i could recommend like only five products skincare products to you this would be my number one facial oil that i would recommend i really enjoy it oh it's about to 
jump out of my hands now let's talk about this Laneige water sleeping mask I really like this but I am trying to steer away with all the fragrance in products and Laneige is very strongly fragranced but it worked for me um but I'm trying to get away from fragrance seriously so um that one I would not repurchase although it really worked it was so good but I'm trying to stay away from that so if you have a nice sleeping mask like that you can sleep in overnight put it down in the comments i want to know this let's go into moisturizers because i think the next thing is moisturizers this is the la la retro whipped cream by drunk elephant gone i really do enjoy this i want to say i have the large version of this this one i really liked a lot and i think i have even a smaller one than that this is by pure pure least this is the blue otis balancing moisturizer i did like this but i do like the one i have the white lotus i want to say that has spf in it i like that one a lot better just because it's kind of like a two-in-one so love this one like this one love the other one so i would pass on this one but there is a lot of pure least products that i would um, purchase but that's not one of them let's talk about this Caudalie this is the moisturizing sorbet it was okay you know it did the job it was good but um I have a lot of other moisturizers that I really like over this Caudalie I feel like that this would be overpriced getting the regular Caudalie is already overpriced in a lot of their products I don't know Caudalie products work though but I feel like it shouldn't cost as much. So I guess I'm saying it's overpriced. Um, the Beauty Elixir is one of my favorite products that they create. And um, yeah, I just, I really like it. Okay. One of the moisturizers that is like, I feel like really overpriced, but it's so good for real is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Now this smells like, I think medicine, I feel like, but it works. It has like a, no, it's okay. It, it it has a little bit of a like a medicine knee scent but um i really like this i like this a lot this reminds me on the lines of laneige but like a little bit more enhanced this makes my skin so plump if you want a product if you want a skincare product that is really good really nice on the skin for makeup and that is good for nourishing your face and your skin oh so good um i have a, a smaller jar of this and um i love it so much elemis even their their facial remover like the cleansing balm also good this is a good brand i'm using their oil not right now but i, I need to like break that open but i really do like this i would repurchase it this is like high end that I would purchase. Maybe I'll do a video on that because expensive products for skincare that I would repurchase, I feel like are worth talking about. It is the CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream, hands down. Instant radiance, instant radiance, instant hydration. This is like by far my favorite. Oh, it smells like oranges for real this is the best winter moisturizer of life seriously sunday riley just kicked it out of the park with this one this is so good and instant radiance instant radiance if you have dull skin if you have very dry skin you want to pick this up because it's a rich like cream oh my goodness oh and it looks amazing under makeup i'm just saying body cream soleil bum bum soleil uh sol de janeiro this is the boom boom cream y'all know this is so cute it's the little small one but it's gone amazing one of my favorite body creams um yeah oh let's talk about this one this is one that i regret that i had to declutter you'll probably see this in products that i'm decluttering on my Mem missy q memoirs channel this is the umbra sheer daily defense by drunk elephant started breaking me out and it is not time to expire yet it expires in august maybe it expired before i don't know but it started breaking me out i was like i know ma'am we are getting rid of you she is no so had to let it go not worth it for me i feel like if it's going to expire that being that expensive before the time i really don't feel like and you get a white cast you get a serious white cast with this that's why I, I like tinted moisturizers that has the SPF because at least I won't get the flashback that kind of way. 
Last moisturizer we're going to talk about is the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. I would purchase this in the larger size. I really like it. And I feel like it's moisture packed. With something this being, this being this small, most of the time it's like, oh, I don't have enough to tell you, give you a definitive answer on it. No, ma'am. This, first time I used it, I was like, oh, 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 okay, Murad. Okay. But this, I would get in a larger size. And y'all know Murad is expensive. So, yes. I'm just saying but it was really good every time I used it I, I I remembered how moisture and rich and beautiful it was and it just soaked my skin just soaked it up Jo Malone this is the English pear and freesia beautiful body cream it is gone oh my goodness this smells so good this is a, a really good summer body cream I really do like Jo Malone body creams because a little bit goes a long way and if you use this, you really don't need the perfume. And I feel like actually the body, cre body creams to me are more long lasting than the perfumes, the fragrances. So I'm just saying this one is from Sephora and doesn't have whatever this was. It Oh, this smell like my man. I want to say this is Prada Sport. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to tell you guys what this was, but Prada Sport bomb. I remember that on him yes ma'am this one is um Bottega Veneta this is the other parfum this let's smell it oh I love this it is a sexy powdery scent like she is giving this is like I take you like you can wear her to work and she's gonna turn heads but it's not gonna be overpowering somebody's just gonna be like Somebody's going to be, they're going to be glad to sit by you in your meeting. I'm just saying. This is like, I want to know what you, like, it's, it's a teaser. Like, oh, I like that. It's like, rare. you know what I'm saying? Very, very nice. Like soft, musky, sexy daytime. Yes, daytime. Really, really nice. That like that scent. This is another one. Victoria's Secret. This is the Dark Angel. I liked this one for like daytime but at home like I'm walking through the house and I want to smell good this like I don't know I'm, I would pick up something else to go out with but like every day you know how some sometimes you need something like every day I want to smell good coming out the shower you know something at night I want to spritz on my night clothes you know I, w I don't want to smell like my body wash but I don't want to smell like I I don't want to have anything like nothing on when I get in the bed like this is like s soft sweet like it could call him hither you know what I mean it was nice I had like a deep amber I really liked it okay so I am finished with this is an eco tools sponge I do like the big one the larger one but I don't like the small one so that's decluttered and it's done and then this is the pure beauty sponge that was hard there was another one that they had that was really good so i'm decluttering that because it's gone i do have a few more like spray fragrances this is the tom ford new york pim uh poor femme this one was nice i really like that one that one's like sexy strong but sexy like ugh, brunch lunch dinner time <laughs> for him and like oh yes this is a come hither another one I like is the matte creme de nude I don't know why people don't talk about this scent but I'm gonna have to get this in the larger size I really really love this it is gourmand it smells it smells like if I'm going to work this is a scent that you like I'm going to work I want to smell nice but I don't want to overpower the office I don't want people to you know close their doors um, but this is like really really nice it's very creamy amber like but daytime you know what I mean very very nice fragrances okay this is the last thing this is Barreto Le Chemin this is their body wash this should have been my other 
one but this is such a clean nice scent this speaks expensive y'all know Barreto is not cheap but i really really like this uh hence the reason why i have it in here uh, i would repurchase this and i know this is expensive i would repurchase this just to take on trips like this is what i want to smell like on vacation turks and caicos you know yes and this took me to like an island this is like oh and the lotion layer with this girl stop mm. okay he he ain't going nowhere y'all okay uh if you if you wear that you you're not going nowhere you're not going nowhere don't go to the restaurant you're not going nowhere i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying she told you i told you okay i hope you guys enjoyed this empties video this is so fun especially quarantine i want to let you guys know i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one bye guys